10 iconic engines every petrol head needs to know. To celebrate the best engines ever made, we've compiled this list of greats. All the way from the SR20 debt to the S85 BMW V10 and the high revving F20C to the brap 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 of the iconic rotary. So sit back, close the curtains and enjoy some NSFW engine porn. Nissan SR20 debt. To kick things off with a bang, the SR20 debt is best known for its place in Nissan's S chassis. It became one of the darlings of the JDM tuning scene thanks to the fact it's easy to tune and can take a decent high in power without going pop. And in case you wondered, SR is the engine's codename, 20 refers to the 2-litre displacement, D refers to the fact it's got a dual overhead camshaft, E stands for electronic fuel injection, and T means turbocharged. The more you know. Mazda's Wankel Rotary Engines The rotary engine works on the same suck, squeeze, bang, blow principle as a piston engine. However, it goes about it in a very different way. A triangular rotor rotates within a chamber which is shaped in a way that allows the air-fuel mixture to be compressed against the flattened edge. The circular motion means the engines tend to be smooth and can achieve higher RPMs, though they do have a reputation for using a lot of fuel and oil. Toyota 2JZ The 2JZ is arguably the most iconic JDM engine of them all. It's the 3-litre inline-6 that was under the massive, bulging Supra bonnet. Like the other high-performance Japanese engines in this list, it's the aftermarket scene that has made this such a hero, thanks to the fact that it can take ridiculously huge horsepower gains. These traits also made it hugely popular in the drift scene, as you could tune it high and bounce off the rev limiter without worrying about your engine exploding and killing everything in sight. Subaru Boxer The Boxer engine involves each bank of pistons working opposite each other, and Subaru made the engines their own thanks to its application in the Impreza WRX and STI road cars. Even the most casual petrol head will be able to tell a Scooby a mile off. The advantages of the Boxer include the fact that because the pistons are laying on their side, the height of the engine is lower, helping to reduce the car's centre of gravity, as well as the fact that it's inherently balanced thanks to the opposing pistons' inertia cancelling each other out. Volvo Modular Engine in Line 5 Volvo's modular engines are a series of straight 4, straight 5 and straight 6 engines, but it's the 5 pot we get most excited about. It might not be the most compact engine configuration ever made, but the noise it makes is pretty special. In fact, a 2.5 litre version even made its way into the Mark II Ford Focus RS with a power output of 300 horsepower. S85 BMW V10 The high revving S85 has genuine motorsport heritage, as it's derived from BMW's involvement with Formula 1. The 5 litre V10 was built for use in the E60 and E61 M5, and E63 and E64 M6, making 507 bhp and 384 pound-foot of torque. It's also one of the best sounding engines in history. Mm. Alfa Romeo V6 Busso This characterful engine gets its nickname from its creator, Giuseppe Busso. Busso's last hurrah was the 2.5 litre V6 engine that bears his name, and it first featured in the Alfetta GT V6 and Alfa 6 in 1979. So why is it so special? Well, other than the fact that it looks gorgeous sat in any engine bay, it also sounds incredible. Honda F20C. This 2-litre engine sits in the Honda S2000 and features a wonderful Jekyll and Hyde character. It's another motorsport-inspired engine and was designed with fast engine response in mind. Keep it high in the rev range and you'll be rewarded with a sonorous, frenetic driving experience. Until the Ferrari 458 came along, the S2000's power plant had the highest specific output for any naturally aspirated engine. Nissan RB26 Det. The RB26 Det isn't one of those engines that powers a wide variety of cool cars from the factory, but it's become an icon of the JDM scene thanks in part to the fact it's the heart of the famous R34 GTR. It's also nearly invincible and ripe for high horsepower builds, making it supremely popular with tuners. GM's LSV8 series After the Chevrolet small block, there was the LSV8. What makes this engine so special, and arguably the most iconic engine in production today, is that thanks to its relatively small dimensions, it's popular as an engine swap in a wide variety of applications. I'm here at Blyton Park. To my left is a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, V8, 461 horsepower, and today I'm going to be racing a plane, an actual plane, and here is the plane's driver, a guy called Peter. How is it to drive in the sky? <laughs> 